Willkommen zurück bei The Walking Dead. In der letzten Folge haben wir den Zaun abgesichert, abgecheckt und da wurde Mark, da wurde von den Banditen überfallen, da wurde Mark mit einem Pfeil erwischt, der jetzt in Behandlung bei den netten Dame ist. Und wir sehen uns hier erstmal um und reden hey, mit allen. Klar. Happy to push you on this way. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Dann gehen wir eher mal aufschwung. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? And lucky out there. A bit a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Man, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> Können auch mit Canyon immer schnell reden. Aua! <lacht> hey. Hey Lee. How's it going with the St. John's? They seem like good people. If we do this right, I still think it could work out for us here. Yeah, this place sure is a step up from that shithole motor in. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. Das stimmt. I guess uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. Sounds like they're pretty amped up about it. This might be a good way to earn their trust. A good idea. Okay, dann schauen wir hier mal weiter. Äh, wir müssen glaube ich mit Andy da hin, so viel ich noch weiß. Was ist denn da vorne? Ach, der Zaun, der Generator und Andy. Da vorne wäre noch Lilly. Aber lassen wir die zwei erstmal in Ruhe, die sind eher angepisst auf uns. Beziehungsweise der Larry ist ja auch dabei. Da will ich eh nicht mit der Tochter reden. Ich gehe jetzt mal zu Andy. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous. Ja, hättet ihr? No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Ja, klar. Gehen wir. Yeah, we gotta work together on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Ja, 
Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Scheint verlassen zu sein. Aber wir schauen mal lieber. Wir müssen also ganz langsam mal dahin kommen. Und gucken, dass uns da keiner erwartet oder überfällt. You Aber see anybody? Es scheint gut zu gehen. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Ob da jemand drin ist? Wir werden es gleich erfahren. Nix. Okay. Scheint verlassen zu sein. This camp's too small. Can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Yo. Schauen wir uns mal um. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Was war das da gerade? Das war doch. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Okay. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Some of that should us. Probably a food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. This comes up a little bit Spanish for. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. So, was gibt's da hinten in der Kiste noch? Empty. Leer. Eine Kamera, nice. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. So langsam. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. So langsam kommt mir das ganze Spanisch vor mit dem. Just water. Must see the sun of this. Nothing. Gar nix. This is viel. Gucken wir ins Zelt rein.
Was haben wir alles? Oh, man. Okay, ein Bild von der Frau oder vom Jesus. Bewohner. Und da ist anscheinend auch ein Kind. Krass. Was ist da drin? Hoffentlich kein Kopf. Oh. Oh mein Gott. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? A little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- Oh! Oh, cuss. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Okay. Also langsam kommt mir das alles ein bisschen sehr spanisch vor. Ich glaube, die verarschen uns. Come on. Die haben nichts Gutes im Schilde mit uns. Wir sollten auf der Hut bleiben. Was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Well, 
They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. <sighs> Sie scheint da ganz nett zu sein, aber ihre Söhne. Es kommt alles ein bisschen Spanisch vor, einfach. Ich komme da nicht auf einen Nenner mit denen. Ach, und den Hut soll ich noch zurückbringen, genau. Ah, auf jeden Fall werde ich erstmal hier reingehen, damit Lilly noch reden. Und nachfragen, was der Streit gerade sollte, beziehungsweise um was es da ging. Mit Larry können wir eh nicht quatschen. Das sind wir schon, schon so sehr befeindet. Naja, quatsch mir mal mit Lilly. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a tin and some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? Jesus. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Sollen wir noch über den Vater reden? Na ja, komm. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look. My dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Okay. Ich muss sagen, wir geben mal der Clementine noch die Mütze zurück. Und können gleichzeitig mal in die Scheune gucken, ja. Was da so mit der Kuh abgeht. Vielleicht läuft hier ja eine Party drin mal zur Abwechslung. Da ist die Kuh und die macht für gewöhnlich Mu. Ne? Oh. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. Whoa! 
Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> oh god. So, gehen wir erstmal die Mütze zurück. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. So, was können wir ansonsten noch anstellen? Mit der Katja reden wahrscheinlich, ne? Oder mit ihm mal. Ah, geht doch mal lang, bitte. Kann man mit der nicht reden, oder? She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Hey there, Andy. Yep. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. Sehr, sehr seltsam, wenn wir auf das Thema zugreifen mit der Frau. Da... Sind immer so komisch drauf. Können wir auch reinschauen? Eine Badewanne. Eine Schubkarre, besser gesagt. Was? Schnell raus hier. Was haben wir hier drin? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? <laughs> well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? What's behind this door, Andy? Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. Uh, we'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. D don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc.
Alles klar. Lenke Andy ab, und, um ihn aus der Scheune zu locken. Ja, aber wie das, wie wird das funktioniert, meine Lieben? Erfahren wir es in der nächsten Folge. Wir beenden diese Folge für heute und ich sag mal Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal bei The Walking Dead. Haut rein und tschüss.